How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Junior 1030, and today I thought I would bring you all another Jurassic World Live content. And this time, I'm going to be going over not only next month's Alliance Championship Creature Daily Mission Reward, but also next week's event schedule. A lot of things to go over in today's video, so be sure to not go anywhere. Before I go any further, I do want to quickly mention that Ludia provide the most recent information available at the time. They are not final and subject change and necessary. So without any delay, let's go ahead and jump into it. So next month's Alliance Championship Creature will be Trotoboa. The event will run from September 7th, 2022 to October 3rd, 2022. Players like you will also have a chance to be able to collect Microraptor DNA all month long by completing your daily missions. The daily mission change will occur on September 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So be sure to translate on time zone. So pretty neat that Turboa is the future creature for the Alliance Championship. Now it is pretty useful in not only PvP, but also surprisingly in raids. Microraptor is pretty important for making its uh, legendary hybrid. So for those that are struggling of getting this DNA, they'll level up its hybrid, and there you go. Now if you take a look at the screen next to me, got the info right here. Let's go ahead and go over it. Get your backpacks, lunch boxes, and dictionaries ready. This week is Spelling Bee Week. Join in the fun and celebrate a week full of events and offers showcasing Dress World Live's tough to spell creatures voted by you, the community. So I think it was like three or four weeks ago of when Ludia has asked us players to build a vote for what creatures we like to see be featured during the Spelling Beak event schedule. Now anyways, lastly, make sure to participate in the treasure chase to open coin chase boxes and collect up to 25,000 coins. This event will run from August 31st to September 6th. Stay tuned for the weekly event calendar on our social pages for more details, such as Twitter, Instagram, Discord, etc. Getting to the creature list, comments, Hesoteryx, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right from not. Anyways, we got Ipocalus and Varrakis. Rares, Tinegosaurus, Sunteryx, Therosaurus, and Quetzal. Epics, Argothus, Echocrothosaurus, Ghost, and Beta. Legendaries, Smilocephalosaurus, and Dartarex. Uniques, Pokedeculus, and Erlex Spix. So yeah, these are the future creatures for next week's event schedule. I gotta say, I am pretty impressed with the results, and big shout out to those that have voted for these creatures for next week's event schedule. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and definitely uh, worth it, and I do recommend not skipping it. Now, of course, I would like to share your information as to what creatures I recommend during the most. However, I want to wait until we get the official event schedule itself. As of my this video, I don't have any information as to how many attempts nor how many strike towers we're dealing with. However, I can honestly say that a lot of players are going to go after beta because they'll be able to get console raptor either unlocked or just leveled up. So as I said in my previous video, I do recommend getting it to level 25 just in case if it gets a Apex Hybrid in your future. You never know, Ludia can surprise you. That's all the cover for today's video. Now let me know in the comments below thoughts every cover here, which one you're most hyped for, which creatures are you playing to dart the most during the event schedule. Let me know, I like to hear it. Hopefully you all did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Check my channel, subscribe, bell for more content videos as usual. See you all next video. Until next time.